First at 5.30, a chicken pox outbreak has sparked a heated debate over vaccine choice in St. Clair County. And as we first told you last week, the superintendent of Marysville Schools is urging parents to keep their unvaccinated high school students at home. 7 Action News reporter Jen Shans is hearing from frustrated parents as the district defends its actions. My student, my choice. That's the message from a group of Marysville parents now going on more than a week since unvaccinated students were asked to stay home from school. Don't trample my rights. Don't trample my kids' privacy. Last week, St. Clair County health officials advised the district to keep unvaccinated students out of Marysville High School due to a chicken pock outbreak. Two cases of the highly contagious disease have been reported so far. It's my right. I'm protected under state law to have the choice. According to the health department, unvaccinated students are highly susceptible to contracting and spreading the disease, which can cause an itchy blister like rash. Parents who choose not to vaccinate their students feel the district has a double standard. They're still allowing the sports teams to play. They're allowing students on home coming from other schools to come into the dance. They're not checking vaccine status. Um, band had a competition. They let them go compete against other schools. According to these parents, Marysville district officials didn't immediately tell them why their kids were asked to leave school. We feel ostracized, I guess you could say. Faith Thomas is one of the 37 students originally affected. They prayed me and everyone else around in front of our lunchroom. In a statement, the district superintendent denies this, saying, quote, all exposed susceptible students were discreetly brought down to the school's office and respectfully informed of the situation. A letter drafted by the St. Clair County Health Department was also provided. He goes on to say that school staff then called parents to notify them. As of Wednesday, 14 students have still not been vaccinated or provided proper documentation of immunity, according to the superintendent. As long as no new cases arise, all students, vaccinated or not, will be welcomed back to school next Monday. In St. Clair, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News. All right, Jen, thank you. Now